All right, last day. I hope you found this series interesting. Um, we're going to talk about the uh, final amplifier here. All right, let me redraw it. So this is basically basically what we got here. Okay, the uh, signal comes in here. Now these amplifiers, this is the driver and this is the final amplifier. Um, these don't have to be linear. Um, they only have to work at full power. They don't have to be modulated. So you can use a simpler type of amplifier. You hear about class A, class B, class AB, that kind of things. I believe these are called class C. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe these are class C, which just means that they're hard on and they don't go up and down. They're just going full blast, right? So, uh, this one is the driver, okay? So it has a uh, inductor up here. It's gonna, it's gonna modulate up and down, send the signal through. Here's a filter, okay? So we're gonna do a um, filter on it. It's going to run through another filter here and the second amplifier. So this is the final amplifier. So this is the driver and this is the power amplifier, PA. You hear it called PA, okay? After the PA is done, uh, it's going to go through some filtering and some switching. All right. So it's going to go through another filter here. This one's a tunable filter. Um, and that's probably just to peak the uh, power amplifier. So it's happy. Um, and then this little section right here is a switch. Okay. It's capacitively coupled input and output. And that's because there's some DC biasing on this pin diode, right? So things cannot flow through here unless that diode is biased on. That diode is biased on through a couple uh, inductors to keep RF out. And then this is controlled with plus 8T, which is the voltage that's high only during transmit. So when the, ch when the uh, device is transmitting, it will turn this pin diode on. And that's our switch to go ahead and output things to the output to the real world. And uh, again, it goes through another... Uh, uh, filter uh, before it ends up in the real world. Um, now, I don't know if this filter is sufficient enough to keep the uh, spurious harmonics and everything down on this radio. Uh, it looks like it might be a little bit wimpy, but it's trying. <laughs> uh, I've never, I've ne never really measured the output to characteristics of this radio yet. Um, but there you go. That's what the final amplifier section looks like. I mentioned before that you always have troubles at the antenna because the antenna is used for both receive and transmit. And so there's a couple switching here. We looked at uh, this pin diode today, but there's also these two pin diodes that keep the receive path open as well during receive. So uh, things go this way during receive and things go this way during transmit. And all of that pin diode switching in there is to keep things from talking to one another. All right, that was my series on the two meter amateur phase lock loop synthesized FM transceiver model FX-146, 140 to 180 megahertz. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll try to give it a go. Like I said, I wanna try to have it maybe receive uh, weather channels, which it should be able to do. It actually has one, one weather channel already programmed in it. Somebody already did that at 162.55. Um, I don't know if it works yet, but um, yeah, we'll give it a try. This is a, a Ramsey kit. Uh, I don't believe they're in business any longer, but uh, you might be able to find some at uh, used stores or online. I hope you enjoyed the series and learned something.